continue on the posterior aspect in a similar manner right coronary artery has not finished only the anterior part of it's finished so if you flip the heart you will be able to see the posterior course of the artery yes but before that let us put the labelings right coronary right corners and right marginal artery now let us tilt the heart when we will tilt the heart we can see this picture so we have seen the right coronary artery coming up to this part but as i said it will continue here in this groove so it will continue here in this groove let me put the artery what makes the boundary this is the lesser omentum but this is what right free margin of the lesser omentum is the anterior boundary this is the pylorus of the stomach so this will be the first part of the duodenum inferior boundary above we can see the liver is there that is the caudate lobe of liver but what lives behind like who makes the posterior boundary cannot be understood with this liver this is the stomach these are the kidneys this is spleen vertebra aorta ivc and the right suprarenal gland and now you can see that this is the lesser sac this is the lesser sac do you appreciate between the spine and the glenoid cavity this can be called as spinoglenoid so the nerve will come from this notch it will enter below so it will supply above the spine as well as below the spine so if you see the scapula in 3d orientation now you can understand that this is how our scapula looks in 3d and where like what i have described about the nerve which is easy now to understand for us because we can see that this is the notch coming here and then via this red color marking it will go below the spine so anyway in nutshell we can say it is supplying behind the scapula so to keep it simple it is above the spine and below the spine